I've had parents from other teams come up to me and be like, wow, I had no idea. Like, I thought we were going to walk in here and have no problem against you guys and come to find out you guys just smoked us. And, th and it's not like in a negative way, which is so fun. I mean, parents are lit from other teams are loving that we're coming in here and, and winning. Nice work. Yeah, at the beginning of the year, I would see the other teams being frustrated that they lost to us because they expected to beat us. Now they're expecting to be in for a fight and knowing they're going to have to be their best to beat us. And, and that's the biggest thing that I've tried to create is an expectation of we're coming here to not only win but to be successful and to perform at a level where people take notice. I remember when we would go play even boys teams, they would kind of say like this is the easy win for us, this is the part where we don't try or when we get to make fun of girls hockey and now when people play us it's actually something they have to prepare for and they take seriously and that we are a team that can take home the banner and take home a championship and I really like how we are seen as you know serious women's hockey that can actually go somewhere else and win. Last year when we played um, a lot of the teams we played we, we got creamed by them and this year when we came back it was actually a challenge for the other teams to play against us and the first game we played against them like they they were scared and you could tell and then it would be like a 2-1 very close game and they were like oh they like kind of woke them up a little bit I thought that was awesome because I was on the team from last year and um, it, was, it was felt great coming back and like beating these teams that we lost to all last season so it was it was great to work up to that. For me, what's even more rewarding is that all these college coaches that I've had relationships with are finally reaching out to me versus me having to chase them. That shift has been huge the past two years. Just, hey, who do you have? I see that this kid's on you know, this side, they've got this many points, but tell me about them. Or I see this kid, or are you 14s, or are you 16s? Coaches are noticing us as an association. We've been really leading by example, and I think that that makes one of the biggest differences, not only how we're playing on the ice, but also how we're making a change in the hockey community on this side of the country. She's shown me where I can go and what teams I can play for and all that. So she's helped expand my world and like my thoughts on college hockey. Instead of thinking just going and playing ASU, I can go out of state and go play for like Boston College or something if I wanted to. They look up team stats and they look up players' stats and they might have that same mentality like, oh, I'm from Arizona, you know, we're an underdog, but just trying to, you know, show them that they're great players, they're great hockey players, they're on this team for a reason, we're a top 20 team, so just constantly reminding them and pushing them um, to be the best player they can be and then ultimately our team. This group out here, this year is a really special year for me because I've been with these kids since they were 12. So my graduating class this year, I've now seen a whole class go through all the youth hockey from U12 to U19. It just makes me really emotional. Like I, you know, I feel like these kids are my kids to watch them when they were 12, barely being able to jump over the boards to now out here playing tier two elite hockey and they're all gonna go play college hockey. That, to me, is the best thing that's literally ever happened to my adult life. I love it. You know, we can go East Coast and we can win a tournament. We can do all these different things that five years ago, we, and five years ago we were just seen as a joke, kind of. And I'm really happy that we've grown so much in such a positive direction. To me, I always say every day is really new. And, and to spend my entire life in the game and to now every day come and say, I, I've never seen this before because it's just different. It's different the way it's presented, the way it's developed, the way it's responded to, the way they look at me. But I see it in their eyes and they now believe. And that's the, the biggest thing, the goal that I had for them was 
they now believe in themselves and they carry that confidence and it transitions into many other facets of their life. I would say that's my biggest rewarding thing is just the fact that I'm finally now seeing my first official core group go off and, and graduate and their development has been insane. So I'm, I'm so excited for the rest of our girls and everybody else that's gonna go through that too and some of our younger coaches that are going through what I was going through seven years ago. It's fun to watch that as well and so yeah. Yeah, so that's my, probably my best answer I can give you. <laughs>